Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make old-fashioned blackberry cobbler. I am a sucker for a delicious cobbler with a sweet biscuit crust. This one is absolutely perfect, and every time I make it, people gobble it up. It's so good. To start, you'll need to preheat an oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and lightly grease a 9 by 13 pan. Then you'll need three pounds of fresh blackberries and you want to rinse them off. Top your blackberries with a third a cup of granulated sugar, a tablespoon of cornstarch, the juice from one lemon, the zest from one lemon, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And toss that all together. You want to stir it until all of that cornstarch disappears and you should have a little sugary syrup starting to form. Then just scoop it all into the prepared 9 by 13 pan. Spread that out a little bit and set it aside. Then we're going to move over to our food processor and make our sweet biscuit crust. Add in two cups of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. I'll pop the lid on and give this just a few pulses to combine. Then we're gonna add in our butter. You'll need half a cup of salted butter and I've cut mine into little cubes. If you don't have a food processor, you can do this in a bowl with a pastry cutter, but the food processor makes it a lot easier. Get all of the butter in there. And then I'll put the lid back on and pulse this until it looks like sand or cornmeal. Then I'm gonna pour in one cup of half and half, which is a mixture that's half cream, half milk. I'm just gonna pour it in in a slow, steady stream while mixing and pulsing the mixture. You should end up with a nice sticky dough. Then we're gonna use a spoon and start scooping on little globs of the sweet biscuit dough right on top of our blackberries. I like to keep things nice and rustic and change up the sizes of my little drops of biscuit dough. In the end, it should look a little something like this. We're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about one hour. The blackberries will be all thick and syrupy and delicious, and that crust on top will be lightly browned. Mm, this is really good. You can serve it up hot or let it cool off and serve it up cold, but nothing beats some fresh blackberry cobbler topped with a little scoop of ice cream or whipped cream. It's delicious. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.